Hi guys, I'm Tyler and you're watching the TJ Space Channel. Um, today I'm just going to do a short sharp uh, tone demo of the Bareface 110 cap um, paired with the Bareface Super Midget. Um, this combination is a combination that I've seen discussed online a few times. Um, the video, this particular video was inspired by a thread on Base Chat um, and someone looking for, you know, wanting to get an idea of the tone. So I figured I was able to do that, so why not try and help people out and do that. Um, this combination isn't um, kind of suggested by the guys at Bareface as a, a combination to use. Um, all the science behind base cabs says you should be using the same driver um, in both cabs, same size, and um, enjoy the tone of that one cab and then simply double it to get twice as good. Um, but um, owning a 110 and a Super Midget it's come in really handy to be able to pair these two together and I think it's a combination that sounds pretty good um, but I'll leave that up to you to decide. To my ear you get plenty of the voicing of the 110 um, and its warmth and that character with a little bit of extra bottom from the Super Midget and a little bit more um, crispness from the tweeter. Um, though the way I stack them I always have the 110 on top and the Super Midget below um, which means that on stage I get a bit more of the character of the 110 that I do from the um, Super Midget but I do think I can hear that clarity of the tweeter despite it kind of being aimed at the back of my knees. I think it's a really useful combination to have um, because the 110 on its own uh, is a great small cab for really small venues, coffee shops, those kind of things. Um, the Super Midget is a really good cab to pump a load of volume through and still be able to get really nice bottom end, crisp treble, that kind of really clear sound. Um, and owning those, they have their own character, but being able to put them together is quite a flexible option for me um, when I can't take my Big Twin 2. So for this video, I use my Yamaha BB735A in passive mode with the treble rolled all the way up. Um, the strings on that are Dunlop super bright nickel strings, and those were put fresh on last night. So you're hearing them really, really bright, really crisp. That's how a BB735A sounds with brand new strings. Um, and that's going through an Aish um, T900 head. The other amplifier I've used is the Ashtown CTM30 Little Stubby. That's a 30 watt all tube head um, and the idea of that was to give you a kind of an idea of what a vintage type sound is like with this combination of cabs. Um, that's paired with my 59P bass um, custom shop uh, and that's got Tadario Chrome flat lines on it, the heaviest gauge that they do um, and they're well worn so quite a really old school sound for that one. I'd like you to let me know in the comments below what you think of the tone from these two paired together and whether you've had a good experience mixing drivers with different speaker cabinets. I hope you've enjoyed this video and it's helpful to you out there. Um, if you like the video, please consider hitting the like button. Um, and if you want to see more content like this, I do quite a lot of gear demos in this kind of style. So don't be afraid to hit the subscribe button. And if you want to keep right up to date, don't forget to hit that little bell next to it and get my notifications as soon as I release a video. Thank you so much for watching um, and I'll see you around soon. Thank you.